Hello YouTube. So, haven't uploaded in a bit, but I thought um, I'd do two things today. First of all, I'd go over my everyday carry stuff. Um, then I would work on this new Marks, um, what is the name of it? I forget. Um, the Marks High Security Lock that I got from a good friend of mine on Discord. And this isn't actually a ranked lock as far as I know yet, but it's really cool and I'll explain about more about that in a minute. So I'll put that to the side. So here's just a little simple overview of what I carry every day. Um, I just thought it'd be kind of interesting to go over. Um, obviously a wallet, everyone has that, but may as well mention it. And then I have a, I'm into photography as I can could probably tell this is a new camera that I've been messing around with. I just got it yesterday. So that's part of the reason for this video. This is a 16 millimeter film camera and it telescopes out. You pull it this way, it cocks the shutter. It's quite interesting. It's very small and um, it's a lot of fun. I could go into more detail about this, but this is not a camera channel. And come in a nice little old carrying case. Then, what most of you guys are probably here for, more relevant to you guys, is the lock picks I carry. This is a, um, what's it called? It's a Sparrow's Tuxedo case. And in it, stores like this when I open up. And starting off with the, start with the picks. So, I have two rakes, three hooks. For rakes, I have a city rake, which is actually the first rake I ever used. I love the city rake. I think a lot of people go with the triple peak, and like it's a great option. I've but I have to say I probably opened more locks with the city rake, and um, I've experienced seen a lot of people who don't fully understand the city rake, and that might be why it's not as popular. Unlike the um, triple peak, which is a zipping pick or a rake. Uh, the triple peak you put into the keyway, and obviously I don't have a turning tool, but you move it forward and backward, up and down, and it's a rocking action. And this can actually be quite successful, I find, on like residential locks and low security locks. So these are the two I carry around, and I find most uh, successful, most success with. Now next. We have two 25 thousandths hooks. Um, these are both sparrows. There's different times I ordered them, so there's a bit different dip on the handle. And we can see that we have a short hook and a steep hook. Simple as that, 25 thousandths. Um, they're a bit bent. I've bent them back into place. Should probably replace them, but I usually bend them back into place two or three times. Then. Finally, I have a 15 thousandths short hook. This is super nice for SFICs and mini high security locks. I don't really use it. Um, I don't use it every day, like say these picks. Not that I use those every day anyways. But it's certainly one of those things that when you need it, you need it. And it's nice to have. So now with those picks out of the way, let's move on to the tension tools. So, we have, first of all, actually let's start with the main event. Three, uh, three, what do they call them? Pry bars from Sparrows. Um, these turning tools are almost the same from every company. I recommend Sparrows though. I don't know if I could say recommend. I prefer Sparrows though, because they do the knurling on them, which I kind of like. And um, this is less of a unique thing for sparrows, but they have, let's see how close this can go. They have those teeth on there, and those I find really helpful in preventing it from slipping out of the lock. Now, I don't know if I can show this on camera very well, but three different thicknesses there. I have 50 thousandths for sure, and I'm not sure about the rest. I want to say. 32 thousandths and 25. I'm not entirely sure about those, but that's 
about right. And I basically sort of categorize them as small, medium, and large. And um, one thing about these three choices in particular is 50 thousandths is great for residential locks with wide open keyways. The 25 thousandths I found, or not 25 thousandths, like 32 thousandths, I'm pretty sure it's 32 thousandths, I found absolutely great for, let me get a few locks to represent this. All right. So the three general categories of locks I've come across are um, residential locks. This is a quick set, and I've noticed that many of these residential locks are almost perfectly 50 thousandths. Very little looseness there. Then I found that many of your higher security locks and Euro profiles or tricky profile locks, this isn't necessarily high security, but it's certainly on the trickier side of keyways, work great with the 32 thousandths. It'll just perfectly fit in that little top nook. So ones that aren't fully open but aren't also hardest key in the world. I've never actually used just the smaller one, but something interesting I've done before is with the Medicos. So this is way, this is a massive top of the keyway tension area. The 50 thousandths just looks like a joke inside of there. But I found that if you add, if you put the medium and smaller one together, such as this, it is the perfect thickness for this Medico. So that's why I picked these three in particular. And honestly, for top of the keyway, I've never needed to take out any of my other uh, tensioners. Then I have here three turning tools, or three wiper inserts, bottom of the keyway tensioners, whatever you want to call them. And I don't tension from bottom of the keyway almost ever. But, as you may have seen in one of my previous videos, I might insert a certain image here. I like to put it at the bottom of the keyway. Um, I wouldn't say do it on this lock, but I'll kind of demonstrate it. I put it at the bottom of the keyway. Let's use that one. See, like that. And then rest my pick on that. While using top of the keyway and then the advantage I see to that is I would actually have it this way the advantage I see to that is while you're tensioning this way if you ever need to let go and give some counter rotation but um, the lock doesn't want to counter rotate. Say you've loosened up so much that you're starting to feel like it's just gonna you're gonna lose all your false sets. I push on it. I push on the bottom with my thumb, and it adds that little bit of counter rotation that is controlled. So instead of just letting go of all tension, I tension the bottom while holding tension on the top, and I slowly let go of top tension while still pushing at the bottom. I love picking that way. I found great success in it. Of course, it's all personal opinion, but that's why I have bottom of the keyway tensioners in my everyday carry. Finally, I have a homemade shim, padlock shim from a soda can, and Sparrow's core shims. Cool. Now, in this next section, I'm going to get into picking this lock. So, I'm not too surprised, but as unsuccessful in picking this marks, um, it's an incredibly dis difficult lock, but while this footage is playing, I'm just going to take the time to sort of explain what makes this lock so interesting. So, um, I guess before even that, uh, I got this from Lock Jockey over on Discord. Uh, he's a locksmith and he sells these, and uh, new of course, and they're really cool. They're, I mean, an SFIC compatible lock. 
But getting into what's unique about them, uh, you can see what I've put on screen. They have a uh, sidebar installed in on them. So as far so if I'm right, they have gins at the top, which just I mean act like normal top pins. But then there's a row of four on the left side pins, which interact with the sidebar, and um, or I believe sliders would be the correct term, but I'm not entirely sure. I'm not very ver well versed in these locks, so correct me if I'm wrong. And then um, as uh, seen on the key. The key, there's a little indent on the side for those sliders to move within. So this has like a whole secondary locking mechanism inside the SFIC beyond just security pins. So I'm curious to see how this belt ranks. Honestly, I would think it'd either be a brown or a red. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a fun pick if I do get it. And I mean, I look forward just as much as you do at seeing that video.